Activity 5, and more trouble. Robots are great for doing jobs that are dirty, dull, or dangerous. For instance, taking radiation readings could be dangerous for a human, but would be no problem for a robot. Let's build a robot that takes three light readings and displays the information on the EV3 screen. To get a good variation in readings, we suggest putting a flashlight a few feet from your robot. Have your robot move towards the light as it gathers the readings. Open 4-H Book 2 Projects. And click on the plus sign to add a new program. Double click on the word program in the tab. Change the name to and more trouble. The robot will move forward three times and pause briefly to take the readings. Let's add a move steering block from the action palette. Change the type to on for rotations. Leave the steering straight and make sure the motor power is at 50. Leave the number of rotations at one. Turn the brake to true. We need to create a label for each reading, so drag a display block behind the move steering block. We are gonna make this have the number one and a dash, so in display, change the type to text grid. Change the clear screen to false. The color should be false so that it will be black, and the size should be set to two so that it's easier to read. In the white text entry area, type in one followed by a dash. Then we want to take a sensor reading and display that number. Drag the color sensor block from the sensor palette and connect it. Change the sensor to measure the ambient light intensity. That won't measure a specific color, but it will just take a reading of how much light is going into the sensor. Now take the display block that we already created and copy and paste it. Drag the new copy after the sensor block. We need to make a few changes if we want to add in that light reading. First click on the number one up in the right corner. Change the type to wire. That creates an area where we can drag our sensor output wire. We don't want to clear the work we've done so far, so let's change the clear screen to false. We also want to be sure that the number is displayed a bit to the right of our first block, so change the X value to 5. Use the output wire to link the sensor to the block. To speed things up, let's use the four blocks we've already created and just modify them for the next couple of readings. Select the four blocks, not the start block, and copy and paste them. Drag them directly beneath the original blocks and connect them with a wire. You can arrange your program blocks like this so you don't have a single, huge, long line and you can see the whole project more easily. The move steering block doesn't need any modification, but the next block does. Change the number in the white section to 2 with a dash instead of a 1. We want this to be lined up with the first reading on the left. We want the second line to be farther down the screen though, so we need to change the Y value to 4. The light sensor block should be fine, but let's modify the other display block. The only thing that should need to be changed here is the Y value. Set that to 4 so that it will be directly under the first reading. We can paste again and drag this under the other two lines. Connect it with a wire. Let's change the Y value of this block to 6 and change the text to be the number 3 followed by a dash. The last block should also have a 6 in the Y value. Let's improve our program by adding in two more blocks. First, put an infinite loop block at the end so that your number will stay displayed after the last reading. We should also put a display block at the very beginning to clear out anything that may be on the screen when we start the program. Set the block to text and grid. Delete the word Mindstorms. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Now look in your book for some ways to revise the program and then move on to the next section.